Good morning, gamers and gamerettes. Andreas Whitefire here again, and we're going to jump back into our second episode of tutorial on the long dark. Um, anyways, if you like what you see, click that like button, subscribe, ding that bell to be notified of, you know, more times when I do stuff like this. Obviously, you know, at some points I'm going to do a couple live streams here and there. Uh, usually on the weekend, probably one live stream per weekend at one point for a nice two hours or so, you know, just to uh, give you guys some live action there with me on Twitch. Uh, and I can be found at Andreas Whitefire. That's A-N-D-R-E-A-U-S-W-H-I-T-E-F-Y-R-E. Uh, on there when I do that. Uh, you know, I'll upload it to my Gmail, not Gmail, my uh, YouTube, obviously. It's morning. I can't think very well. <laughs> uh, you know, and if you like what you see, as I said, like button, subscribe, ding the bell, and uh, you'll catch up on all that stuff. Need somebody else to follow that likes to do other stuff, you know, that might be pique your interest here. Uh, my good friend Amber Rain, she's a gamer, she's a chick, she's awesome. She plays Minecraft with different kinds of mods, and uh, good God, she jumps from mod to mod every month, it seems. Uh, she also does stuff like GTA V, uh, there's a few episodes of Star Trek Bridge Crew on there, and occasionally we'll do challenges like House Flipper. When the new Garden Flipper DLC comes out for House Flipper, you can guarantee she and I and maybe my buddy Squirrel will be doing a challenge, so go look her up. She can be found on twitch.tv forward slash Amber Rain. And when she's done streaming, she, of course, flips those recordings up onto her YouTube channel for those people that get to catch your live stream. And then there's my buddy Squirrel. He can be found on YouTube at Squirrel Gaming. <clears throat> on uh, Squirrel Gaming. Go check him out. They both deserve some love, deserve some likes. Uh, and with that said, let's get back in here to uh, resume on this here. We had just entered into the Trapper's Cabin here. Obviously, you saw me throw my torch last time. Well, with the game saves, when you leave or enter a door to a building like this. So we'll throw it down again in anger. Grr, it's burnt out. Uh, grab a recycled can. Tin can here. Um, we're going to break down this crate. We're safe in this place, and our heat and uh, stuff will go up as we uh, walk around here. Now we're going to grab everything we can out of here, and just then we'll sort it out later. Did you guys hear what he said? I couldn't. I was talking. So for this map, this is going to be our home base. Oh. It got dark. It got dark. Well, we're going to step outside here. We're going to need a torch to see things in the dark, obviously, right? Right? Let's start that fire. Start the fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Okay, I'm done. No, not really. I'm not done. Ah, uh, you son of a gun. Try this again. Light, darn you. We need the fire to survive. Fire is life. Sticks are life. Food is life. By the way, I will, you know, say this. The game actually tells you, please don't try anything you've learned in this game in real life. Because, yeah, you might die. This is not a game that teaches you real survival, okay? Please don't try anything off of here. Oh, we could have started the fire in there. I totally forgot about that. All right, we're searching. Aha. Accelerant. We'll uh, craft some paper stacks here in a minute. Wood. Could end up being useful. Ah, there we go. That's what I need. Check this out. That's got some decent fuel. Thank goodness. Now, I kind of made a mistake there. 
I probably should have just kept using the torch instead of using the lantern. But I do like my lantern. <coughs> We've got some uh, good food here. Darn, we do. See that right there? Yeah, they hide stuff like that on you. Can opener is great, and here's why. The can opener allows you to open cans and not spill so much food. And that's a good thing. Trust me. Oh, oh ho, more fuel. Now my weight's probably gone up. Cooking pot, heck yes, please and thank you. I could use this. More matches, matches are always good. We'll leave the scrap metal in there. It's not going to go anywhere. Let's go search upstairs. Sometimes in the game, there's a dead dude lying here, frozen dead corpse. Uh, ooh, that's actually really good. Certain books can be read that improve your skill. Oh, heck yeah. Not going to complain on that. Hope no needs this. Yes. Okay. We're doing pretty good. Now, this is what this version of the game is what I would call a normal mode. We're going to set the lantern down right there and check it out. It provides fire. All right. We're going to run downstairs real quick. We're going to break down um, the chair over here. Because we're actually going to start a fire up there in that fireplace. <clears throat> yeah, boy. Luckily, I know my way around this place. The lantern went out. We've got more fuel for it, but we don't want to do anything with it right now. Okay. Real quick, we're going to go in here. We're going to drink. We're drinking in the dark. It's not really a good thing, folks, to drink in the dark, okay? If you have a problem where you're drinking alone in the dark, go out with friends or get some help. All right. We're going to throw some accelerant on there. Uh, yeah. Thank goodness for that. Awesome. We're going to add some fuel. Okay, you notice that actually has a name. That will actually uh, increase your score on skills. All right, so we're actually going to cook some food here. We've got eight hours, right? So we're going to take up the banged up port and pork and beans. We're opening with the can opener, obviously, so it's going to give us the most amount of food. And we're going to cook that right in here. We're also going to uh, boil some water in a recycled can. Boil that. Two minutes, okay. One minute until boiled. We're gonna drink it. Why not? Hot boiled water. While we're here, and we've got eight hours, once we eat the pork and beans, obviously we're gonna go lay down for like five hours in game not five hours in real life obviously but the pork and beans you'll see really really gonna warm us up um, as you can see I've been eating food cold well that makes a difference eating food cold versus eating food hot cold food will uh, end up taking you and lowering your temperature so and hot food actually, you know, helps, see, benefit warming up. You're going to be nice and warm. Uh, let's see here. We're going to 
Eh, we won't do the cup of coffee. We will melt a whole ton of water, though. Just a whole ton of water. Water may not be like soda or fruit drinks or whatever you find. It's not going to give you calories, but even in this game, as in real life, you can survive just a few days. You can survive weeks without food, a week or two without food, but you can only survive. It's like, well, what is it? Five hours. It's something like five hours without shelter. Um, five days without water, a uh, certain number of weeks without food, something like that. You know what? Give me a minute. Because if I quote that wrong, it's going to annoy the heck out of me. And let's see here. It's, uh... Eh, never mind. I'll find it later. I'll tell you guys it in the next one. <clears throat> but it's like, so long without shelter, so long without food, so long without water. And you need water the most and shelter the most. Food you can kind of deal with later. Give me just a minute. Pop that back up so I see what I'm doing. Okay, there you go. All right, so, and we're just gonna take this water when it's boiled. Daggone it, we ended up screwing up. Okay, <coughs> that's fine. We're going to add chair. Nope. <coughs> now, while that's going on, let me just check and see how if I can read that book by the stove light. Yes, you can. Close my eyes. Now, I only got four hours because I'm so daggone tired, and I bowled out the water. That was me being a dope. Okay. So, let's see. We've got four hours and ten minutes left. We're actually going to go on this bed. I'm so tired. I could just lay down right here. We're going to sleep five hours. If you are too tired, you will fall asleep while running around in the woods, and you die. Trust me, it sucks. It's like, yeah, I'm doing great, I'm doing great. You forgot to sleep, dopey. Guess what? You fell asleep and froze in the wilderness. You're dead. Like, ah, crap. <clears throat> Ooh, magnifying glass is awesome during the day to start fires with. Uh, because, yeah. Yeah, I know we're, you know, hungry and need food and water. Guess what? We're going to eat a crunchy nut bar. Um, and we're going to drink some soda. Because we have a few sodas left. Uh, obviously, we're going to need to boil some water. As you can see, my carrying capacity has gone down to 50-something, and I'm overweight. So that means it's going to be harder to do stuff. So we're going to break down these cloths. As you see, you just click on it, and you give the option to break down. I'm going to show you why in a minute here. Um, let's see, let's see. What can we break down? Hatchet. We need a hatchet to break the wheels down. Okay. So a hatchet is needed. Alrighty, and there's nothing else we can really break down here. Oh, fishing line. Okay, so uh, workbench. You can craft some stuff here. Rabbit skin hat, deer skin boots, pants, wolf skin. Ooh, satchels. These are new. See, survival bow. 
<coughs> arrowheads, improvised knife, improvised hatchet, you know, prepare rose hips to make a great pain killing tea. We're out of rose hips. We don't have the mushrooms. Uh, healing properties, painkiller, uh, infection uh, control for old man beard, old man's beard. So, in this game, yeah, you find chemicals that you need, you know, medicines you need and stuff, but everything can be found found in nature in this game as well. Okay, so we're gonna start this fire again, and there's a reason for that. And we're going to use the magnifying glass. Uh, I guess we can't because we're inside. We'll start the fire, hopefully. And then we're going to repair our clothes. And I'm going to show you why. Okay. All right. So we've got the fire started. We're going to finish reading Survive the Wild real quick. One hour. Because that's going to improve our fire starting skill. We only need one hour of research. And it's daytime. Boom. Soon. There we go. Check this out. It's done. Oh, well, crud. That, uh... Okay, we were going to boil some water, but I guess not. All right, so we are going to take our clothing here. Okay, let's see here. How did I do this again? Uh, repair the ragged ski jacket. <clears throat> we're going to spend the day here repairing our stuff. Trust me on this. There's a reason for this. We failed, okay. Because... There we go, 82%. Um, we're gonna repair our long johns. 77%. If you get them back in good condition, we're gonna go. Uh, I've been so hungry in my life. We'll harvest this one. We're going to wear that one. Uh, repair that. And we used up the material. So tired. And uh, let's see. Do we have more cloth? We do have more cloth. We're going to go see, yeah, we'll break these down into cloth. Um, <clears throat> we're going to repair our outfit and clothing because that's going to be the key to us surviving outside. And trust me, you saw that we were like at 11 uh, something and four and all that. Yeah, check out what where we're at when we repair stuff. Yes, I know you're tired. Be quiet. You are tired. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Dying from starvation. Oh, you are not dying from starvation. Here, eat some tomato soup. See, tomato soup even uh, brings up the hunger meter. Uh, there you go, energy bar. See if we can repair while it's still light outside. Okay, that's at least a 57. See if we can repair that before the light goes fully away, maybe? No, failed. Okay, so now it's dark out. So we're gonna sleep. 
we're going to end up sleeping for 10 hours. Um, should be light out when we wake back up. Granted. Oh. We're using up a lot of our drink. That's okay. We have water. Um, and we'll end up finding more food, obviously. And we can eat some of these cattail stalks. They actually count as food. They're only about, you know, a few hundred calories each. But that's why they're there. To eat. Just a little boost, obviously, and they don't subtract any from your water. <clears throat> I'm not terribly worried about my food. And that's the reason why I'm eating all this stuff. Because you can fish. We've got fishing line. We can fish. We can find an axe or a hatchet or a crowbar. Bust a hole in the ice at these fishing shacks that I'll show you here in just a few minutes. And we can fish. So let's get the food built up. <clears throat> okay. Check the light. Okay, it's getting ready to be light out. So... We're actually going to make our way downstairs. Out the front door. We're leaving the camp office. Okay. We're headed out this way onto the ice. Now, this game, there is a mode where you have to hold down the button to harvest, to do anything. Me, I just have it set on one click. It starts, and you're good. I don't see why they have that mode to hold the button down. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, y'all heard that. I know y'all heard that. <clears throat> so, we're going to go out here, and you see these little buildings out on the ice? Those are fishing huts. There is a wolf or two around here somewhere. Uh, usually out in this area. That might be him over there. Uh, in that direction. Not going to go play with the wolf. It's a horrible idea. There's a bear around here somewhere too. He doesn't come this far out on the ice, though. Okay, the sun's starting to come up. Things will be good. Starting to wonder if I'm being stalked by wolves. Well, we got plenty of dag on fishing line. Worn climbing socks. Awesome. How worn are they, though? Everything else is going up. So, we've gotten lucky so far. We're just a lone man, trapped in the Canadian wilderness. No idea what we're going to do to survive. I know what we're going to do, we're going to live. Now, I will point something out here with this. You guys noticed that when we went in the camp office over there, and we opened that door, we saved. Not the same in this thing. Frozen Angler, book on fishing, that'll improve your fishing. Uh, these doors don't count like that. Dog food, yes, you eat dog food. In a survival situation, you'll eat grubs, bugs, worms, whatever you gotta eat. Okay, worn wool scarf. Uh, okay, yeah, it sucks. Compared to the extra toque. Or toque, toque, toque. I know I'm saying it wrong, I'll get corrected later. I think I can use this. Okay. 
We're going to slowly make our way over to these cabins and search them. <clears throat> cold is making my head feel thick. Yes, we know the cold's making your head feel thick. Not the character's not thick headed already, but you know. Okay, it looks like two of these cabins have been burned out. Uh, when you do the game on survival mode, on occasion, one cabinet might be good, two cabinets might be good, all three might be good. It is kind of random on which cabinets are burned and which ones aren't. I'll die if I didn't warm up soon. Okay, there is something out on the ice out there. That may be wolves. And so we are going to do some light. First, though, we are going to go, if we can, we've got a lovely fuel supply. Sardines. This will come in here. Okay, new jeans. Awesome. Um, plus eighteen warmth, plus windproof. However. Our sprint is now 90% of what it used to be. That's okay to me. You really can't outrun anything when sprinting. More lantern fuel. There's cloth there for doing stuff. Uh, we're already overweight on stuff, so. Now there could be wolves around this corner. I'm hoping no. <clears throat> if we see them, we're just going to back away slowly. Too cold to think. Okay. Awesome. Boom. That's what we needed. Hatchet, baby. Frozen corpse, dead body. Nothing. Okay. See, like, all three of these cabins are good to go. We're going to check them. Check them, check them, check them, check them, check them. Okay, we can put the lantern away, obviously. Um... Yes, we know something's got to go. Ragged ski jacket. We can break that down for other stuff, obviously. All right, so. Pretty much today is just a day of fixing stuff, finding stuff, uh, making stuff, because the more we fix stuff, the better. Uh, as you can see. See? That's going to be a little better once it's repaired than that. So we're going to have two... Tongue feels like sandpaper. Skin... Two... Not skin jackets. Two skin jackets. Two ski jackets on. And as you notice down there, 
that sewing kit is 60 percent yeah you use up materials what do you, what would what did you expect okay 100 percent so we're gonna let's see see check that out fully repaired good god we are warm Heck yeah, we are warm. 100%. Look at that. 22, 5, 10% protection. Yeah, baby. All right. Let's 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 go real quick. Eat some food, obviously, because we're hungry. Dopey. We'll eat some dog food. Oh, no. That's pork and beans. And uh, we'll drink some cold coffee because it's coffee. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to come back in here. We're going to check on stuff. That's decent. Actions, harvest. As you can see, there was a little plus down there. That's actually a good sign. Harvesting. See the little plus? That means the coffee is making us more alert and more awake. Uh, we need better shoes, obviously. Decent thermal underwear. Decent jeans. Uh, I don't see anything in the yellow now. And that's the good news. Nothing's in the yellow. And look at our, our warmth bonus. I mean, seriously, we are warm. Check under everything. What's that back in the back? Hiding. Okay. Nothing. Hatchet. There we go. By the way, these are supposedly real life locations. In this place like the island we're on is called like bear island or something like that and it's real it's it could be visited up in canada apparently or i should say it's, it's at least it's based off a real place uh this pack is getting kind of heavy let's see how much do we have we're carrying 68 out of 66 so we got to figure out stuff to drop here well drop 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 Drop, drop. I usually keep two. Um, I better find some water. Water's getting a little low. So, I mean, all right. So, that's going to be that. And that is just kind of how you do in the game surviving, searching around, and stuff. You, of course, can follow me a little more as I continue on, uh, you know, next episode. But these are two good starting episodes that I've got you. Hopefully next episode, once we find a gun or we figure out how to make the bow and arrow, we can actually start hunting and crafting stuff out of the pelts. But until then, it's going to be surviving off the land, uh, you know, hopefully hitting a few rabbits with stones if we have to. They need to make a slingshot in this game. That would be really good. But with that, I'll tell you all of y'all to have a nice day.